Brazilian police on horseback surrounded a camp in the nation's capital Monday set up by hardline supporters of former President Jair Bolsonaro as the military began dismantling the protesters' tents. It comes a day after backers of the far-right leader stormed the Congress, Supreme Court and Presidential Palace in Brasilia. Rioters echoed baseless claims from Bolsonaro that the election was stolen. The buildings targeted were mostly empty at the time, but a day later, Brazil's new president, Luiz Lula da Silva, held his first cabinet meeting inside the damaged presidential palace. We are confident that the strength of Brazilian institutions will allow us to overcome these violent and lamentable incidents of yesterday. Bolsonaro left Brazil for Florida shortly before da Silva swearing in last week. He was admitted on Monday to this hospital in Kissimmee for abdominal pain. Members of Bolsonaro's team met with advisors to former President Donald Trump in recent months, and Sunday's riots echoed what happened in the U.S. Capitol two years ago. Political analysts say there are questions about the slow response of Brazil's police and military. A lot suggests that uh, given the pro-Bolsonaro sentiment and anti-democratic sentiment in the armed forces and the police, that the security uh, apparatus may have actually helped the protesters to attack the building yesterday in the capital. Some U.S. Democratic lawmakers are calling for Bolsonaro to be sent back to Brazil. The White House says it has not received any official requests from the Brazilian government. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Kissimmee, Florida.